Okay, here's a two second uh, update on how my garden is doing after germinating for almost two weeks now. Let's take a look. All right, so first off, here's my raised bed. It's about two and a half feet tall now. And here we go. You can see along the right side of the uh, block wall, I have 29 Scarlet Emperor beans that uh, will grow to the top of this wall and probably more and That will take about 70 days. I will Also have cantaloupe Honeydew those haven't been planted yet. I'll start those in a couple weeks, but here we have all the um, Watermelon sugar sugar baby and everything I started was just under two weeks ago Here's some crimson watermelon as well. And they're all about one to two inches right there, except for the ones in the back. Uh, these squash, um, this squash is actually going pretty quick, they're growing faster than the other ones. I uh, here's something that's interesting. I I started this one in my uh, all these seeds. I just most of them I started just a couple weeks ago. But this one I started in, in my garage during the winter, uh, the very first day of the year, as well as that one in the back. And they just have been like so stunted. They don't like continue to grow like they should. And they are, I, are exactly the same ones as this one right here and that one in the back. So I have a feeling the ones that are starting now are gonna pass them up because they seem to be stuck and not really progressing, so I don't know what to do with those. Anyway, um, yeah, look at these. These are growing so fast. They are probably about six inches tall now. And yeah, I have some uh, little uh, string I can just wrap them around to make sure they go straight up. Um, okay, what else we have here? So we've got a couple of varieties of squash and now we're getting into the corn. And this is kind of like seven rows of corn right here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. And move on over here now. Cucumbers. I probably have too many too close. <laughs> oh, look at how many they are. They are kind of slow in the growth. Uh, the basil, cinnamon, and sweet. Wow. They are finally starting to poke out. Like, look. Oh, where am I filming here? Look at that, they're barely making any progress. They're just starting to poke out just now. And there's there's about 10 or so planted in there somewhere. Um, these are kind of le leftovers during my winter garden. Yep, in Arizona we can grow um, from September um, all the way through the winter. And basically I, I just harvested most of all my kale and brock, uh, lettuce and that's just kind of some of the smaller ones that didn't um, look like they were quite ready to harvest. So we just kept them in and so they're just kind of just stuck in their same their same size. They're not really growing. Sweet peppers here. I started those in the garage as well and little little starters and and then right on the very first day of the year. And now we're looking at three months later. Uh, finally putting them out here in the garden, so hopefully they'll get moving a little faster because they're slowly moving The squash the zucchini are growing very fast um, They're about three to four inches tall 55 days to harvest and I have Two tomato cages here. Now this is kind of an interesting problem the, These over here are definitely tomatoes and uh, some of them are up to what, eight inches and I want to um, do the single stem concept that I've been learning about and get them to go not only up to the top of the cage but maybe the top of the fence and maybe maybe at that point I'll cut it off or maybe I'll even make a big arch if I back up maybe make a big arch of some sort and have it come down uh, somewhere over there because you can get tomatoes to go like 10 to 20 feet long so maybe I'll do something like that with the tomatoes and have them produce more. Um, sunflower, yeah, my first flower I have ever grown. There goes a lizard. So that one I started in the garage 
first day of the year and here's three more that I have that I will spread out once they get a little bit bigger to transplant. Oh, something about this. These are tomato cages, right? So the problem is these guys right here that are growing inside of this one, I don't think any of them are tomatoes. I thought they were tomatoes, but it turns out they do not look like them. They came from this that I had in my garage. And these look more like tomatoes, so maybe I'll transplant these ones over there. It's kind of getting too late in the season, so I don't know how much time I have left to get these in the ground. They were supposed to be in the ground two weeks ago. We'll see. Um, I have 50 feet of blackberries. And and then they end. Oh, and then right here, I grow flowers in these little containers. I'm going to be doing um, probably 50 of these over the whole perimeter here. But yeah, flowers. I can grow more ve vegetables and all these little tiny versions of things. But um, my blackberries are delicious. And I've used a, kind of a weird system here for you see all this uh, um, fishing wire. That makes it a whole lot easier just to feed things through and keep them right where I want them to be without having to get stabbed to death by all the pokies. <laughs> Thorns are horrible. And then my garden ends right here currently with uh, my tower of strawberries. Oh, this one right here is just so cool looking with its transition. And man, these leaves are huge. These ones are finally starting to bloom something. But then you got some over here. And I have four different uh, varieties. Three different kinds on the bottom and then all the rest are the same on top. But basically all of them are ever bearing. And that's it. That is my garden. And I am so excited to see how it all turns out. Um, yeah, someday I'll probably add a little bit more, but that's where I'm at for now. Hope you liked the update, and if you have any suggestions on my, uh, um, oh, I do have one more thing. So, the soil I just purchased on this one, you know, get, get closer over here. You can see that right here, this soil, yeah, this is a good spot to grab that I just purchased is, is, is basically a, a little bit of uh, lava and rock and wood chips and really, really small, fine um, wood chips. But then you got this wood chip area is really chunky. And, I, and then there's smaller pieces, but you can see how well it's holding the moisture in just under the very surface. But I got, a whole bunch of this stuff. I mean, I filled this whole bed with this new soil. But look at this. All this, all here along my um, blackberries, 50 feet of it, there's up to one to two feet of wood chips that I had from a tree company. So I could just take all that and start dumping it to give another three to four layers in my garden, which I'm um, getting close to doing I started trying to filter some of my wood chips you can see right here these are a lot chunkier because what I did is I sifted it I sifted the finer smaller pieces into a bucket and I'll go show you that to you now so that I could put less chunky stuff in my garden because I don't want full-on five foot five inch sticks in my garden because it looks so nice right now but here, I think it's in here. Nope. Try this one. Yep, here they are. So here's the sifted wood chips that I, I grabbed. Oh yeah, this is this is amazing soil. I wouldn't even I don't even know if I can call that wood chips. It's just here, let me get the lighting better over this direction. Look at this stuff. It's just so fine that I don't know if I would even call that a layer. That's more like just straight up mulch you'd buy from a store. Anyway, so yeah, I'll throw that on the top. Probably best if I keep some of this stuff with it though, where it's chunkier. So it, 
has air pockets. I think that's the whole concept of back to Eden gardening. So you have air and stuff to break down. Anyway. All right, so I separated the, this uh, these wood chips right here and, and filtered them to smaller chunks because I was noticing the blackberries, the one thing I have experience with in gardening is these blackberries for 14 years have been my friend, but they've also been an enemy because they grow like a weed and they will grow as tall as you see them, six feet tall, they will grow six feet from the, the plant itself right here in the grass, Whoop, popping up everywhere and I'll pull out the shoots and I'll transplant them closer back to the wall, showing them where they live. But the problem is um, they, something new happened. I only had this uh, wood chips thrown in here as of like eight months ago. And as my water from the grass was growing, uh, spraying in here, it was keeping it nice and moist. So, so moist that you get these uh, mushrooms and things popping up all the time. And in this section right here from where I'm pointing all the way through about the shovel, it was growing blackberries everywhere, like every three to four inches, just little pop-ups. And they were not connected to the main plant. So I don't know if there's like seeds falling off the plant and it's just uh, growing right there at the top of the, the wood chips. But I thought that was fascinating because normally they would grow uh, connected to the main plant. Um, anyway, so I didn't want my wood chips to be hidden seeds of blackberries infested. So I wanted to separate a pile over there away from here and I grabbed them from this section over here where it's drier and it wasn't growing things. So I'm gonna probably do another round of that. So maybe, maybe give me your opinion. Should I include the mix of these, of this kind of chunkier wood with what I had already showed you over there? Because it's either having that included would look more like this. Ow! There is a blackberry thorn in my finger. Ah! So annoying. Okay, let's try this spot. <laughs> Going. Come on, don't don't attack me. Oh, look at that stuff. Anyway, so you got bigger chunks. But it's almost like, I don't know. What do you think? Would you mix it? Keep it chunky like that, all mixed up? Or would you sift it like I did over there? Well, at any rate, that is my garden here in Arizona. And it is the very beginning of April. Uh, so let me know what you're, what you're growing and show me what you got. All right, comment below and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks, have a great day.